places and things. Once upon a time time now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. In sport. In sport, absolutely. It's, uh, it's because they continue to surprise us, Natalie, at Notts County. Yeah, they do, absolutely. The first, the Arabs arrived and bought the club. Then Sven joined. Now today, a Premier League player with a famous dad has become a Notts County man. It really is the stuff of fairy tale. Well, just when you thought the story couldn't get any more enchanting, Notts County signed Casper Smeichel today from Manchester City, reportedly for £1.5 million. So Sven and a Schmeichel, he couldn't make it up. I know Sven, you know, I've worked with him before and just I had a meeting with him and heard the plans and the passion that they had for the project, you know, that, that, that just sold me. The tale begins three weeks ago when wealthy Arabs buy the club. Then a former England manager becomes director of football. Sven has the Pied Piper effect as the crowds come swarming back with 10,000 on opening day. The same sort of thing happened last season at City when, when Sven came and, uh, you know, it was, it was fantastic at the time and, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's great for the city. It just gives a, an excitement and, you know, an, an awe of expectation as well. To add to it all, Ian McParland and his new look team with nine summer signings with a dream starts with a 5 0 win on Saturday. Yeah, we've still got two or three targets that we'd like to bring in to strengthen the squad, but uh, until that happens, then I'll let you know. So, smiles all round, more players coming in as the new regime try to revive a sleeping giant. It's fantastic and it's, it's, it really is living the dream but it's the reality behind it and uh, you can see all the components we're putting in place, we're, we're just showing what that reality is. So a footballing fairy tale in the making and hopefully there'll be another happy ending at Macclesfield on Saturday. Into the Championship now where Leicester City play Ipswich tomorrow, a team who are among the favourites for promotion. Lindsay Hooper reports. Leicester City fever is everywhere at the moment, even in the domestic garden. I might get myself one of those later. Yes, it's been two out of two wins for Nigel Pearson's side, the dream start to the season he wanted. But now he goes away from home for his second championship fixture, taking his side to Ipswich, where of course Roy Keane is in charge. I think Roy's teams will be, uh, you know, be keen to get them uh, winning, especially at home. So we know it'll be a tough game, but. Uh... I think it'd be a great challenge for us. Probably take them probably five or six games to, to get to know each other in the championship environment. So, you know, they're still trying to get to know each other and uh, we've got to take advantage of that. There are plenty of smiles around the Walkers Stadium and here's why. in front might go below and then he scores new signing Danny and Gesson has scored twice in as many games a player Nigel Pearson can see making a real impact this season I think for him it's going to be a, an interesting season he's certainly got uh, a lot of pace and power and I'm sure he'll he'll uh, surprise a few people this year the striking power is in place and confidence is certainly high Leicester City will be looking